Okay, so before we even think about building a website with WordPress, we're going to need a uh, hosting account and a registered domain name. And the only company I can recommend for this is a company called Namecheap. So if you go to google.co.uk search engine and then type in Namecheap, you'll see the Namecheap.com website come up in the first page of the results. It should be top there, like so. Just click that link and it will take you to the Namecheap uh, website. So we need to register our domain name. So I assume um, if you're watching this, you already got some sort of inkling of what domain name you want to register. And for me, with this particular video tutorials, uh, we're going to register a domain name called Build A WordPress Website. So just type in the domain name. Don't need to worry about spaces. Into the box there, and then click on Search. And Namecheap will go through and search to see if that uh, domain name is available. And as you can see, the net version has been taken and the .com version has been taken. But because we're targeting traffic uh, from the UK, we want the top level domain for the UK, which is .co.uk. And that one is available. So all we're going to do is click on the Add to Cart button here. And as you can see, it only costs £4.67 a year, which is quite cheap. You could find it cheaper uh, on other uh, domain name providers, but I highly recommend uh, Namecheap simply because it's so easy to use. And once you've watched these video tutorials, you'll see for yourself. And um, the main aim of this is to make it as easy as possible for you to build a website. So Namecheap is the place to go. So we've got Build a WordPress website here. It's available. We just need to check that the spelling is correct before we even register that. So Build a WordPress website. Yep, that's fine. And I click on the Add to Cart button there. And that will add the domain to your cart. So now, obviously, we need some hosting. So up the top here, right-hand side, you'll see hosting. You don't need to worry about uh, shared hosting, so just click on shared hosting and it will give you some packages. And the one I suggest you take out is the professional one, and that's £4.61 a month. Now, because we're um, targeting people in the United Kingdom, visitors in the United Kingdom, it's best if you go for a UK data centre. Now, that's going to put on an extra pound to the price, but in Google Webmaster Tools and um, in Google search results, you're going to rank better if you um, choose a UK data centre because Google will be able to see that you are actually a UK company. You've got a .co.uk name and the hosting is in the United Kingdom. So that's going to help you better for uh, ranking in the search engines. So UK data centre we want to choose, we want one month or you can choose three months, six months, one year or so on. I've gone for one month and I'm going to click on the add to cart button and that will add the hosting to the cart. But before it does, it'll ask you which domain name you want to associate this hosting account with. And because you've already chosen the domain name that's in the cart, we can just click on the drop down box here and choose the domain that we've just added to the cart. As you can see, it's added to that. We'll click on the red continue button. I recommend that you turn auto renew on because if you forget about it and you've built your website, a year down the line that domain name expires, you're going to lose everything. You will get a notification, but it's easier if you just keep it on auto renew and then you can also register it for one year or all the way up to 10 years. The longer you register a domain name but that also uh, counts in Google's eyes as well so obviously if you register in the domain name for four years Google can see that you're a legitimate company and that you're going to be around for some time. For this instance I'm just going to choose one year. So we've got professional plan at one month and we chose the UK data center and underneath here, it gives you some other options. Whether you want, it'll ask you whether you want to purchase a positive SSL certificate. Now, Google have made some changes recently in their algorithm, and uh, they're going to rank secure websites uh, better than non-secure websites. So, for one dollar ninety-nine, I would definitely add that to your cart as well, because if you don't, and then you decide later on down the line that you want to register um, an SSL certificate or purchase an SSL certificate, it's going to cost you about £10, I think. So you're having a good saving now. It's only £1.23. Add that to your card. And then here underneath here, you'll see a promo code. Now, open up another tab and just type in Namecheap coupon code. And you can see there that the first uh, website result, the first search result there, click on that link and it will give you some coupon codes. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for September or the month that you're actually watching these video tutorials. So it will tell you the, the latest month will be at the top. And that's going to give you 20% off the shared hosting on the first billing cycle. So I'm going to copy and paste that coupon code, cross off the site, and then paste it into that promo code box there. Click on apply. And you can see that it's now being reduced down to £10.20. 
So for £10.20, you've got a domain name for one year, you've got an SSL certificate, and you've also got one month of hosting. So that's pretty good. Confirm the order, and then you're going to need to create an account if you haven't already got an account with Namejube. Just fill in your username, password, uh, your first, last name and email address, and go through that. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to put in my details here, and click on sign, on, sign in and continue. Check in the amounts here. I've got some funds in my account, so I'm going to choose that. But you will obviously probably need to pay through either PayPal or your credit card. This is what I mean by SSL. You see, if you're going to be submitting uh, user data, you can see that it's secure. So whatever details are put into this page here, nobody's going to be, it's encrypted, nobody's going to be able to pinch those details or anything like that. And you can tell that it's got a secure because it's got HTTPS in it rather than HTTP and there's a little padlock icon there. So we've got all those, everything's all confirmed. We're going to put in the billing address there, which is all fine. Automatically renew all of my eligible new services before expiration, I've ticked that box. And I've also ticked the box that says domain registration. And I'll also save those settings for future use. I'm gonna click on continue. It'll just give you the final rundown of everything you've got there. Tick the box that says terms and agreement, and then click on pay now. We'll take you to the processing page and it's going to go through all those details here and purchase everything so you can see the SSL certificate has been purchased. It's registering build a WordPress website and there you go. Everything's purchased. It's all done. You've now got your domain name, your hosting account and an SSL certificate for under £11.